And from Geneva County to Early County, Early County schools will soon be seeing increased funding thanks to some help from the state government. WDHN's Cody Giles has that story. The Georgia Land Forest Protection Act adds an ad valorem tax exemption for the use of Georgia land to grow timber or be a natural habitat. This money could go to help schools, but since there are no taxes being collected, that money is lost. So money is being reimbursed into schools and Early County will be receiving more than $500,000. So we lost tax money that was coming into the county that would have come to the school system, but at the legislature, they approve um, the money coming back to the school systems. And with the global pandemic, changes had to be made across the board and not everyone had the ability to learn at a distance. Of course, a push with COVID to digital learning was fast and furious, and not all of our kids had devices this year. And with so many school systems being affected so heavily by the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of the money from the Georgia Forest Land Protection Act is going straight back to the kids to making sure everybody has a chance to learn. The current situation in the country, state, and here locally, we need all the funding that we can get. And oftentimes, education is forgotten. So now that we have some extra money, maybe we can put some things in place to better serve children. And really looking to make sure that we're meeting the needs of our students. So it could be devices, it could be personnel, uh, it could be programs. In Blakely, Cody Giles, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.